We now know the cause of death of a Texas A&M student who died back in August. It's been such a heartbreaking story for the family of Joseph Little, and today the autopsy was released. It says that Joseph Little died from the toxic effects of amphetamines. Our Ryan Korsgaard following the story tonight. He's joining us live with the update. Ryan? Bill, and this is the document. It is hard to read. It says the cause of death is due to strokes, and that is due to uncontrollable seizures. The autopsy shows 18-year-old Joe Little was seizing and had been for nearly half an hour here at his off-campus apartment before someone called 911. His August the 28th death was ruled an accident. Little's death was attributed to strokes due to uncontrolled seizures due to the toxic effects of Adderall. The report shows that Little's blood tested positive for cannabinoids and amphetamine. So you get fast heart rate, you get high blood pressure, you can get delirium. Dr. Spencer Green is the Director of Medical Toxicology and Assistant Professor of Emergency Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine. He is not involved in the investigation. You can get seizures. You wouldn't expect to see that after therapeutic use, but if you were to abuse it by taking too much or by using it the wrong way, such as snorting it, you could certainly get that. The investigation shows Little was up all night for rush events before he started seizing. College Station police say they are not conducting a criminal investigation. The big question is, who's responsible? Attorney and veteran prosecutor Warren DeProm is not involved in the case, but says charges or a civil suit could come next. Depending on what the investigators find, anybody could be held responsible, including the fraternity itself. Uh, Texas law allows for organizations to be held criminally liable. And by the way, we also checked with the district attorney's office. So far, no comment. We're live tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.